today I have been washing sheets and towels and I'm on my first load of normal clothes because it's Monday and on Mondays um, I've been trying to wash sheets and towels and whatever clothes we have from the weekend and I ended up with probably two loads of clothes just like regular you know clothes and um, already washed our sheets dried them and put them back on the bed got new towels out for us and all that stuff and then my sister-in-law mother-in-law and niece came over for me to help with um well my sister-in-law came over for me to help her with some stuff for the fire department because they're starting a new system of reporting so that uh the volunteer firemen or no the volunteer fire departments can get grants and things like that so that we can keep going and you know be able to help people for free because otherwise a volunteer fire department can't exist if you don't get grants and things like that um, i think they used to have fundraisers and things like that but you just that's not something that works as well anymore but anyways, they're starting a new system where you have to do this reporting. Instead of doing paper, you have to do it online, from what I understand. I'm just learning about it, and I think I'm going to be taking over it, kind of, because my sister-in-law works. Um, and of course, I work. I'm not saying I don't have a job. You know? A housewife is a job, but... I have a very flexible schedule let's put it that way so I'm at home most of the time and if we get a call I can be the one that documents all of the things for the call and if um, if she's at work or whatever so it's kind of like a, I guess I don't know if I'm gonna be taking over or if it's just gonna be a tag team type situation we haven't really discussed it further because we really don't know what's going on right now but we had to have she had to have a call with one of the people who are the coordinators and so she came over here for me to help or to i guess participate i don't really know either way that part's done and we have another appointment for another call in a few days so they, we got that done and now since I've been doing all that stuff and I'm really getting kind of um, annoyed with how the living room and over in can you see it I don't know over there in that corner like right there y'all can't see it because the lighting changed but anyway that stuff let me see if I can point at it right there in that beside that thing I don't like the way it looks so I am about to try to make it look better uh, that is from what I understand CDs and things like that like cassette disc you know look compact disc what are you saying cassette for there are cassette tapes too because yes we still own those but there are compact disc and things like that over there that I want to organize so I'm about to get a couple of those wooden bins and I'm going to set them up kind of like shelves and hope that this works <laughs> and y'all are coming along with me I know I had said something about doing the office but this is something that every time someone comes in here they see it so it'd be more annoying I have done a little bit of something in the office too um, I moved some things on my desk I have a fan on in there because like I've told y'all a bunch of times it's hot in here but I had my planners and all of those things down here on this little thing but that gets in my way when I'm filming my planner videos so I moved that up there and I think I like that a lot better um, that's all I've done in here and let's see yeah that's all I've done in here and mostly I've just been washing clothes and stuff that's what I've been doing mostly so let me go ahead and grab the oh I actually emptied a bin that I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to put a lot of that in uh, I have two bins that I'm gonna try to empty and put under the desk I think I told y'all about that anyways let me get the stuff and see if I can get this 
looking more presentable instead of cardboard boxes and also you just don't want cardboard boxes in your house everywhere because bugs and things like them and we don't have a problem with bugs I don't want a problem with bugs so I shall get all the cardboard out that I can <laughs> so you know you don't want to invite things in your home and um, make it gross all right I'll be back okay so my plan is to use these two and if I need more I have one more of these it has some stuff in it right now but um I don't I don't know if I'm gonna need it now whenever I first bought these things they were like seven dollars each they are now 14 to 20 dollars each it's ridiculous but we're not gonna talk about that because <laughs> we don't want to get angry <laughs> anyway <laughs> um I have CDs in here, like all sorts of CDs um, that I've had over the years. And what I want to do is try to just get them organized so I can, you know, see them, get to them. I kind of want to figure out if maybe that um, instead of stacking one on top of the other, or maybe I should do it this way because then I won't have to take I don't know I'm gonna see how it works out I don't know how it's gonna work but just lots of different CDs in here I mean we've got Rugrats Christmas now that's what I call Christmas. <laughs> All kind of stuff. Oh no. Anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own. But baby, it's another lie. Remember, you were me. I try to lie. So I was talking through this, but then I decided I was just going to speed it up because part of the time I got really quiet, part of the time I wasn't. Um, I do need to go through here and sw uh, like separate Christmas and all that stuff. And we've got some that's Christian music, some of it's secular music because 
we have like the ink spots i mean that's old classic music you know and um we've got some other things like uh let's see i don't know billy joel and then we've got things like third day and um i don't know who rebecca st james Rhett walker brand band uh plum you know so we've got like and we've got like Waylon jennings and then the jesus culture right beside it it really doesn't matter to us if we have it mixed but i would like to go through and unmix the christmas from the other but you know whatever that's fine i don't really care uh i did take out hold on let me fix this hello i did take out the children's type because I do still have CDs from whenever our children were little, like Veggie Tales and stuff like that. Now, I'm not getting rid of these because one day I hope to have grandchildren. And my kids love these, so maybe they will. There's not that many of them, but there's nowhere here to put them. And I don't want to put another one on top. And I know I did put some CDs on the very top, but we're not in a habit of buying CDs anymore. And we used to have a lot more of them, but we got rid of them because, um, I don't really know why. There was one point where I was in a church and they said, don't listen to any secular music. And I listened to everything they said. And quite honestly, I have a different opinion than that now. Um, there are some secular music that I wouldn't listen to. But then there's some, this like the ink spots. That's old, old music. Um, and different ones that are I feel are okay, you know. But there's some things that are really not good. But uh, I can't think of any right off hand, but I, I know they're out there. But I'm not here to talk about music today. I'm here to organize what little bit we have left. But yeah, I did at one point get rid of a lot of CDs because I was listening to people who were very legalistic. Now, this cassette tapes we have, I don't know where I'm gonna put those, but we'll figure that out. I don't even have a CD player in this room, but we can listen to those CDs on through the Xbox on the TV. And we can also, um, if I decide to put these where the CD player is that I have, I can put it in uh, that room. Like I can move these all to that room and they'll be easier to move now because they're in these bins. But anyway, I'm gonna figure out somewhere to put these few things. I think that one of those shoebox type ones would work. I may have something else and I can probably slide them up under this thing that we're using for an entertainment center thing now but i'll be back whenever i'm doing something else i'm gonna get this box out of the house and then this bin this little basket bin thing i am thinking that i might want to use that for somewhere in the kitchen for dirty hand towels and napkins but i'm gonna talk to jeff and know about that first because i don't know it might be too big because I do wash them often, but I do need something for those th those things too. But either way, I'm not throwing it away because we can use it somewhere. Um, and if we can't use it, we can always donate it because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it other than it's a little bit dusty. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, so I found where I had some more CDs that I had forgotten that Noah had packed. Uh, they're already in little container things, so I'm just going to put them under here. There's a cassette tape right there. So, I think I can get them organized to where I can put them in here. But yeah, I totally forgot that we had these over there in a different spot because they were brought after the others. It's like my Kenny G and Nicole C. Mullen. <laughs> Things like that.
All right, so actually, I have one of these little bins that I'm gonna put the kids stuff in. I'm gonna put them in the back. Hopefully all of these will fit. Dude, they fit perfect, okay. I'll put that one in the very back. I may have to lay on the floor. And then there's two more of these bins that are here, which if I have to, I will, I'll just stick these up here and let these just be. under there like that it's not my ideal thing but until we can do something else that's the way it's going to be and i do have this other thing that i had under there but i'll move it somewhere else and um that's just better than what it was i still have to find somewhere for my tapes and like i said i can move that somewhere else i know somewhere i can put it so that's better <laughs> at least i hope it is Okay, so it's several hours later and I have washed more clothes and emptied dishwasher and done all those things and um, folded clothes and all that. And now Jeff has gotten home and he's going to help me do some things here in the office. Mainly like the litter box thing and figure out the best way to do it for Daisy's food because right now, I don't want to show you all the litter box because she's used it since I've cleaned it. But you know that her food is on top of that little bin. Well, that bin I want to clean out and which right now it's difficult. Well, it's not difficult, but I have to move all of her stuff just to get to my stuff that's in there. Anyway, I want to clean that bin out and use it and the other one that's just like it for our board games. So her food and water which her plate for her wet food um, is in the dishwasher. She has two though. <laughs> but anyway, she's not having any more of that today. I don't know why I'm talking about all this. Any hoozles. That is going to go on top of the litter box enclosure so that the dogs can't get to it. But we don't know. I mean, that bin and the litter box enclosure is about this different, this much difference in height and daisy's lazy i don't know if she's gonna jump up there now i know she can she has jumped on things that high before but i don't know if she will but to get to her food and water i'm pretty sure she will but i want to put it up there so it's safe that means i can get my bin and all the things that are on that side of the room will not be over there anymore and we're going to put the orange chair over there for now but later, we're going to do like some sort of sofa bed type situation um, for guests for this room. But for right now, it's just going to be the orange chair. So I'm going to set the camera up somewhere. But first, we're going to go ahead and put the litter box in the enclosure. Because like I said, I don't want to look at it. So I'm not going to try to show it to y'all either. Just know that it's over there. <laughs> and <laughs> maybe once this is in the enclosure I won't have to sweep in here 14 times a day because I, I seriously sweep this floor that's why I got that little broom over there with the dustpan I sweep this floor from where she goes to the bathroom probably four times a day because I can't stand the litter on the floor and it just happens because it it's not enclosed so maybe that'll solve that situation and we're also i'm going to get one of those little mats that are for uh putting in front of a litter box that's supposed to catch that stuff we used to have one a long time ago i don't really know what happened to it but i want to get one for in here if we need it if we don't need it i'm not going to buy it but we'll see we'll have to you know trial and error but going to get the litter box done and then I'll let y'all see what's happening. From the 
the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You find a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You find a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah So I know you couldn't see what I was doing. I thought y'all could, but I was in a different spot. But that is the, those are the sticker books that I use all the time that were on my other desk. So we put them in that little bin that I had said something about using for towels and stuff in the kitchen, but it's really too big, I think. So that was a better use. There, um, there's room back there in the back, so what I'll probably do is put something that I don't use very often in the back, and I'll pull that further this way, and now this is empty, and the one over there is empty, and I'm going to take those into the living room. I might do it tonight, I might not, but I'm going to take them in there and put the board games in, and Jeff is about to put a shelf up there. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm pretty sure I can figure out something to use it for. We got that over there. Of course, that's not going to stay there. The chair's not. Well, there goes that. And I'm going to figure out where I'm putting that too. These are books and stuff. I got to figure that stuff out. So it's better. Um, I don't have her water up there right now because I need to change her water bowl. And Jeff's using that spot, but her food is up there. And we cl I cleaned up all the thing. And her litter box is in there. She was investigating it, but she has not gone in yet. Maybe she doesn't have to go to the bathroom. I don't know. But he's going to do that now.
so he's got that up there i'm not sure what i'm gonna put on it yet i'm thinking that i might put my essential oil stuff that i have in the closet on top of that and then i can use that space for card games and stuff um like the board games that we might use more often but i haven't decided yet if I'm, that's what i'm gonna do or if i maybe put books up there because i can do that um maybe that'll be my to be read shelf or something i don't know the ones i'm planning on reading like super immediate or whatever but uh i think that's all we're gonna do in the office for today and i'm gonna go take the pink bins these and put the games in them i think okay so i know i'm gonna just be taking things from one box to another but like I said, I want to get all of the cardboard boxes out of the house that I can. Because cardboard is a bug magnet. They like to eat those things. So, um, I'm going to get these. Jeff, I'm going to already need something small, I think. Do we have any small bins out there that you can remember? Can you come push this closer to me? Like, for the Farkle and, what is this? Travel Yahtzee and stuff? I don't even remember how to play Rook Shook. And I don't, like, a lot of these are small ones and things like this. What is Ooh, this? Being like that small? Like smaller box, like that we can put. Oh. It didn't fall yet. What is in this? Mm. Oh, that's that thing that we got that's got to do with your mouth. You had to put, I don't know where I got this from. We've never even played it. The LOLs. We never played it because we didn't want to put something in our mouth that someone else had put in their mouth, which this has never been used. But um, <laughs> it had to be you're assigned to this color forever type of thing. And I don't even remember where we got it. I think somebody gave it to us. Anyway, he's going to go see if he's got the other some of the rook cards noah said fell out and jeff found one of them but i'm going to take these small ones out of here i can't remember how to play this one it was like you balance rocks it it's been a long time got a teeny tiny chinese checkers can you tell it's been played with <laughs> it's worn box trivial pursuit baby boomer edition that was a fun game. We might, I'm gonna put it probably in here. Got this bingo that was never opened because we had the other bingo, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because we can still use it. We have more people around us now, so we'll be playing games more than what we used to. That's just regular cards, like just playing cards for Rummy and stuff. Another Rook. We love Rook, and this is an old one. Um, I don't know when it's from, but we always like to put 1964. That's how old that is. It still looks brand new. Anyway, I need to quit talking about it. This is actually one of the very first board games that Jeff and I bought. I think I was like 18 years old, and I'm 47 now. And it still all ha it still has all the pieces. <laughs> oh no, it's not gonna fit. This may not work. That might be one that we just have in the top because it's one of our favorites anyway. Sorry, spin that will fit in there. These things are moving around behind me, making noise. That over there. in sync uno cards and it's actually got a song uh it's gonna be me where he says may 
<laughs> it's gonna be May. Anyway. We got that from the Dollar Tree when it was still the Dollar Tree. And we played it a lot. Okay. This is lots of different things. We might just leave this out somewhere. Don't know yet. We'll see. Pictionary Man. Where you draw on the person. Trivial Pursuit Junior. This is not going to be big enough. That I will never play again. Jeffrey. I'm not sure this is going to work. I don't I don't even know if this is gonna work. You may have to help me figure this out. Um a couple of these that's a puzzle. Put this over to the side please. Maybe put it over there. Like, the Monopoly will not fit in this kind. So that means National Geographic Society uh, and Life probably won't. Life will. Oh, that one will fit. So, I don't know. Which one? National Geographic. Alright, where's Life going to go? Okay. Battleship. Oh, what lead? The lid? I said it right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's under there. Here, let me go ahead and get these out. That way we kind of see what we have. That's just dice. Oh, goodness, that's heavy. Like, we can just stick some of the small ones in this corner. I don't know if this is going to fit here, but it should. Be careful. you had put that other rook card that you had found that worked I mean worked. Well, this doesn't seal anyway this this kind okay so do we have some of these small ones This part right here is causing a problem. Jingle. Jingle. What are you talking about? Jingle. Oh, you talking about there? Okay, jingle will fit there. That will fit there. Travel verse travel game. Okay. So the skinny one these root games. That's this isn't root though. That would no, maybe not. They'll go there. Will you look, is it the red ones? I don't think it's this one. It closes really well. The blue or red? I don't think it'd be the red. Well, the blue and the red. The red looks like something's missing. Red. It's red? All right, well. How many of them were in there? Just the one? 
Hold I don't remember how many cards are supposed to be here. Noah had said some more had come out. Will you please go ask him where they were? Where he found them at or whatever? What you think about that? Sure. Fit yeah, that's about all that's going to fit in that one. Can you move it so I can do the other one? Here, let me set this on top so it'd be easier for me to, to uh, put it in there. Do what? The rook cards? Remember you said you had found a couple in the floor? What did you say you did with them? Cards. What, baby? There's some in the bingo box. In, that thing in the bingo box. Okay. I think there's only one or two. But they fell out. Yeah, I know. There might still be some up there. Your daddy found another one. I don't you have to count them to figure out if all of them are there or what's missing. I don't know how many supposed to even be in there. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Mexican dominoes. Mexican train. What's it called? I thought they fell out. They did fall out into the box. What? They were holding each other. They were supposed to be together, but I forgot. Well, nobody told me that. Can you please get those out? This goes with the coup, doesn't it? Yeah. Allie is like, what is happening here? It's not a board game, but. I know the battery's probably not in it anymore. I know you and Selena were good at this game. Yeah, I'm not, I'm I never was good at this game. <laughs> Twist it. Bop it. <laughs> I know. Y'all were real good at it. Well, just set those to the side and put all those in it. Like, put this to the side. G.I. Joe. Jumanji. Did we ever play this? Yeah, we did. We need to play it again. It, we need to play all the games again. We used to play games all the time. Except this one where you had to use your mouth. You had to put that thing in your mouth. <laughs> Allie Ooper Dooper, what are you doing? She said, I'm seeing what you're doing. I can't get that one up. Because the box keeps sliding. Everything slides on this floor. That's not going to fit. It doesn't fit. It's at the very top. It'll fit. Okay, well, maybe we'll put it at the top. I already tried it. Worst case scenario. Sorry. Mouse trap. Go to the side. Monopoly Electronic Baby. Scrabble, my favorite. You didn't like Scrabble much, did you? I really wish Allie wasn't there because if something falls, it's going to hurt her. And she's right, right in the danger zone. supposed to have. Never seen a battery this cool looking before. What battery? It's cool looking shirt. 
Does it say how many cards there's supposed to be? Oh, so you get. Why is it beeping? Something's not right. It's been. It did something weird earlier when I washed a load of clothes. It's because it's in between settings. How to get in between settings? I, I had it set the way it was supposed to be. I had it set. Does this say how many it's supposed to be in here? Fifty-seven. Okay. All of them should have the same amount of cards, right? All bring it. All of these types of rook games, right? Fifty-seven. All right, we've got the whole deck. Good. We didn't lose any. Um. The red one? Yeah, we got all the red ones, all the blue ones, and all the others. And I know we have three sets of rook cards, but these are antiques. I'm just not getting rid of antique ones because I'm just not. Know what I mean, man? I mean, they even have the rule book with them. Worst case scenario, travel size. Uno. We'll put this one in there unless I have the other one. Okay, so we're gonna just need something else to put the rest of these games in. Unless there's like a super skinny one of these that's gonna fit, but I don't think there's any more. All right, these can go under my desk on that side. And then we've got the rest of these games, which, where'd you get this one? Oh, it smells like soap. So it was one that we had soap in before. Whoever that was was driving too fast. Um, I hope that's not like copyright thing, no Because I am recording. Blasting. Quiet. Blasting. Quiet. We should just keep the glass tic-tac-toe game out somewhere and play it. It what? What? Th thought those more what? Trains. How many is in there? Four. That's all the trains we had. That's why we had the other things. The yeah, that's why we had the bowling pins because it didn't come with. A, well, it should say on the package. Let me see. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Well, those small ones are in there along with my hair. Um, oh, that one had soap or something in it too. It must have been in the soap thing or something. Nope, that's not gonna fit. So I'm not gonna use this because there's not enough small ones. So what are we gonna put the rest of these games in? Well, I guess we could put, 
I just, are we ever gonna use this? And didn't, where did we get this from? Did Robin give it to us? Are we ever gonna use something that we put in our mouth? I mean, the whole game is here. It's never been used. But keep game away from small children. Not tested on animals. Do not swallow your mouthy. If you swallow that thing right there, you doing something. <laughs> Need more expansion packs, mouthies, or game rules? I don't know. I just don't know. I think we should just put it in the donate stuff because we're never going to use that. So that one can go donate. The rest of these, we got to find something else to put in. So at least we got them out of the cardboard boxes. These can go, that's not a card game, a board game. These two boxes can go under my desk. So will you put those under there? And then we'll figure out the rest of this. I'll go move some stuff in the closet. Alley you for duper. Okay, so we got most of the games in there. And we love board games. And we used to play all the time, but we don't play as much as we used to. But maybe now we will, because we're around more people. So, um, still had to find somewhere to put three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14, 14, 15 games um, of various sizes. But I think, well, actually, one of them has a lot of games in it. It's that wooden one. I think I can put those in the top of the closet. Um, even if I have to move the, what are they called? Beach towels. I can move the beach. Jack, is there somewhere else we can put the beach towels? I think I'll move the beach towels because the board games being in there, I would rather have. <laughs> so I got them out of the cardboard boxes though and they're gonna be out of the living room. So that's that. So I don't think I'm gonna share anything else today. Just know I'm gonna get this straightened up because it's all over the sofa. Um, we're cooking chicken on the grill for supper and don't know what I'm gonna have with it. We're gonna maybe either bake potatoes or roasted potatoes or something, potatoes, and something else with it. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I really do wanna know. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet. <laughs>